All right, uh, we got a little circuit set up here. Uh, I saw someone referred me to a uh, a video on YouTube. Uh, JL Nodden, I think, is the name, and he's doing some stuff with where he takes a toroid and puts the magnet inside here, and then puts it near another coil where it's uh, the pickup coil. And it's fluctuating the pickup coil and causing uh, some uh, LEDs to light up. And basically, it, the Orbon is the same thing. Um, I've been doing this thing for a little while now. Um, my magnet might not be sideways in there, but uh, you know, as this toroid fires, um, it allows this field to fluctuate outwards. Uh, as if it weren't there, and then when it's off, you know, the fields of these magnets are attracted through to the other side. So what I did was, uh, I wrapped some coil around the outside of the yellow one, uh, so I didn't have to take it apart. I could always remove this outer wire, and the, the core is still good, you know, to put back into the other core. Um, so we're running that to here. And we're taking the uh, coil, the pickup coil that's wrapped underneath the toroid in parallel here, and they add up a little bit. And that's what's running all these LEDs. Uh, these aren't expensive LEDs. You get 100 of them for 20 bucks from China. They're shipped in six days for, you know, uh, they come with resistors and everything. And we're lighting the light bulb on the load. Um, now this bulb here, this big one, we can plug it in also. Everything goes out. We still have a little bit of filament here, but there's not enough voltage to light up the LEDs. And this is pulling some current, but it's not lit up. So there's not enough on the output of that to light up that bulb, but it's enough to do all these LEDs plus this little light bulb at a certain, that's it. 4.31 volts without the big bulb in. But now, what I found that I can do is where my toroid is plugged in here from for the MOSFET, uh, I got the blue wire back there going from the positive side, that's always positive, back to the negative rail back there, and then I have my negative side that's being pulsed by the toroid come down here I put my rectifier here and then I got this orange wire that jumps back to the positive so I take this diode and we stick her in there and now we're adding what we got off of the toroid or off of the pickup coils both of them we're picking up off of and the back EMF so we're recovering power that we used and mixing it with the output and we get all this turn off the light these LEDs they're really bright you can see they light up the room basically um, but essentially what I've been doing is the same thing um, you know using the toroid to uh, control the way the flux of the magnets uh, passes through another coil. Same thing. All right, we're going to take out these LEDs. Over here. Let's take these ones. And these bulbs, they do get brighter. As you take out the LEDs, uh, we're at 5 volts. Running both of these light bulbs, this heavy duty light bulb and this interior light light bulb, off of the output. And we can take out the big bulb. And this is our interior bulb, which is now at running voltage, 12 volts. Um, actually, it should be more. Let me do a little bit of an adjustment. It should be around 14 volts.
13.29. It was 14 earlier. My MOSFET could be warm. Could be what's going on here. But uh, now we're, and I measured at 14 volts, uh, 300 milliamps uh, on the bulb. So we're getting more out. Uh, where in the one video I had where I took the back EMF and lit a separate bulb, and then I took the coils, the output coils, and then lit this one through the bridge rectifier. But now, you know, it, it was really simple to actually combine them because um, the pickup coils are electrically isolated. So just got to figure out the phase with the two different pickup coils. One we hook them up here, one way they can impose, or they're going together. But now we're getting, you know, full 12 volts, 13.37 into the 12 volt bulb. Um, so we can capture the back EMF off of the toroid that we're pulsing to create the function of the generator and mix that in with the output and get some good output. Um, anyway. Just wanted to show that. Thanks. Oh, wait, one second. Um, I made I made this toroid uh, that was going to fit inside this coil here, and the toroid uh, is not working well. I put the Orbon coil in there, and I was able to get output. Uh, but with this one, I wasn't able to get output. I adjusted different sizes of magnets or different uh, numbers of them to change it and uh didn't work not at all not very good um the old ore bone core works in there uh the output of this first one that i did i'm not going to tear that one apart i'm going to save that is not as much as this one but um coils on the outside coils on the inside running the output with the bmf to get this brightness here uh, Alright, just want to show it. Thanks.